Candy Staten, and you're watching Train Spotters, and you've got the love I need to see me through. Well, it's that time of year again where you're choosing where to go for your holidays. If you're an ardent clubber, then you know that it's going to be Ibiza, guys. There's a place for you to be going. Train for the clubbing show. For those in the know, in the house today, we have the lovely Shades of Rhythm. Say hello, Rayan. Hello. And we have hello. Nick. And on the decks, we'll be talking to you in a minute. We have the lovely Mike from Hi. Jersey, aka TJ. <laughs> so, Shades of Rhythm, you're really, really legendary, aren't you, as well? So, that's how you got started. Um, started DJing, uh, doing um, demo tapes, whatever, set up my own little studio, blah, blah, blah. I was DJing at a club. Um, played my demo tapes there, people got a buzz off it. Then we uh, got our own record um, label called Frequency. Well, they certainly did. And let's take a look at one of your tracks now. Let's roll BT and see them performing Ecstasy. <laughs> There. You're not some of those people that always sit in the corner of clubs moaning about how good the good old days were, are you? No, no, I mean, we, we just fell into the, like, the, the rave scene, really, and like, now, when people go out now, the music's just as good as it was then, you know, but people from then don't realise that people are hearing it brand new now. And so. there's been a lot of revival, though, as well, hasn't there? I mean, you've played at Flashback and stuff and, and feel there's loads of demand for people wanting to relive those heady days of house. Yeah, well, oh, every, everything's, got, everything's got history, so, I mean, I think a lot of, uh, all the tunes, all the rave tunes now, they just laid, they laid all the foundation for the, uh, the music and the vibe that we've got today, so basically a lot of people that's into it now want to get back and see where it yeah. all come from and like, just do a little bit of history work, really. Let's see another one of your classic tracks. Well, this time it's Let's the sound it. of Eden. Roll VT. <laughs> of times by record labels, haven't you? But you don't like to do the industry thing. You like to do your own thing, don't you? You've got your own studio now in Monastery. Yeah. In Monastery? Monastery? In Peterborough, in a Monastery. In a mon well, it used to be, like, in the... Built in the 16th century, like, it was a Monastery, and we've, like, turned it into, like, a studio upstairs. We've rented the shop out downstairs, and it's got all the ghost things and everything. Is it haunted, then? Yeah, yeah, there's... Well, there's got like, nuns, nuns yeah, and nuns coming to you in the middle of the night. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a gift shop downstairs, and whenever anybody goes in there to teach them, it, this, this ghost, like, knocks it off the shelf. So they get all like early well, awful. Yeah, Lots yeah. of bangs in the night, I'm yeah, sure, yeah, down sure. your way. Oh, yes. And what was it like to like tour with Carl Cox? Because you did that for about a year, didn't you? I, I had to get used to uh, DJs getting superstar status. It was a bit strange, and we was getting backhand uh, business. But it was nice. It was nice that it was getting a nice little vibe. But we we used it to our advantage, and um, we exploited it, and we had a good time anyway. Won loads of people over, which was uh, a result. So it was nice. He's a he's fun. he's God. He is a God. Do you know what I mean? You know, people worship him when he comes on the decks. People worship him. You know. And it's amazing to see, and because we were supporting him, like you know, we had like 2,000 people just waiting and waiting, and we come on warmed up for him, and like they just went crazy. Well, can they? Can you DJ any of you two? Oh yeah, yeah. Can you? Really? Yeah, all, yeah, all of it. That's our first love. That's so what do you prefer love. then, DJing or performing? Uh, it's it's still crowd entertainment. I like it. I love yeah, it both. I love it both. And you've got a new things. album out hopefully at the end of the year as well, haven't you? It's in October, yeah. And what's it going to be called? Do you know yet? Uh, the Bridge Generation. OK, well, thank you very much for joining us. Over to Leisha. Yes, well, thank you, Shader and Colin, but now we are going to have a flashback in Birmingham. Yes, we are. It's run by Mistress Moore and Jimmy. And Mistress Moore actually graces the decks as well. It's about seven quid in. It's on every single uh, month. We used to be at the Q Club when Trainspots was there. It was, but now it's moved to the venue. So if you ever want to have a flashback once a month, get to the venue in Birmingham and check out our me and Colin flashback all the time because it was cool. Thank you. <laughs> What do you think is worth queuing for? A good time. Have you ever been flushed up? Yeah. And have you ever had a flashback before? Every day. Have you? And what do you usually flashback about? Pandemonium Institute, Birmingham. Have you ever had a flashback in life? I have. 
happened though. Have you? What? Have you ever had a, have you ever had a flashback? I have heard of it. And what what happens in these flashbacks? What does that mean? And you've got your little glow sticks here. My glow sticks. Haven't you? Did you buy them specially? I bought these specially. They were left over from an exercise I was on. Come on, show, me how you use, show us how you use them. Hello, I'm Ray and G from Shades of Rhythm, and you're watching Train Spotters. <laughs> What's worth queuing for? A good pizza? Um, wisdom. For what? Wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah. Why have you gone on? You never have enough. Well, here we are with Pop Bars. Have you played yet tonight? I haven't played yet. I'm going to play about in about 10 minutes. I'm really looking forward to it. Really? Have you played Flashback before? I've played Flashback a few times. Sorry. Up the road with Crunch and uh, this is their big one tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. As you can hear, the atmosphere is brilliant. What more could you ask for, really? So tell us a little bit about your history. Where did you start DJ? I started in about 88. I was messing about. I was a bedroom DJ. And then from there, I just played, really, my first big thing was in the Midlands with Amnesia House, which were local boys as well. And uh, just took it from there, really. How did it go tonight? We're oh, it went really well. There was one or two little problems, but like uh, the night uh, on the whole was a really good success. So it was such a good vibe in there. It was just tremendous. Well, I was up on stage next to you and it felt brilliant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone's well up for the old school at the moment. I mean, there's such a vibe on the old school scene at the moment. It's just unbelievable. Fabio, you've just come off the decks, haven't you? So how yeah. was it here at Flashback tonight? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Uh, you know, I don't usually do this kind of thing. Like the retro thing, I'm not really into it, but it was cool. So what are you into? Future music, future, drum and bass, man. You know what I mean? What do you think is worth queuing for in life? Money, sex, love. You know what I mean? A man with white gloves. I just see what it's about. Hiya. Right. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you having a good night? Yeah. What's with your white gloves? Of the queue. You have to come to the Q Club, it's wicked. Best night on ever. Yay! And to get into the queue club, of course. Of course, of course. What do you think is worth queuing for in life? What do I think is worth queuing for? A good woman. A good woman. Yeah. Have you got a good woman at the moment? I haven't. I'm after one, though. <laughs> All right. We'll see if we, let's see if we can sort you up, Alicia. Seeing as though you're the queue club, right? What is the one thing in life that you would only ever queue for? My girlfriend. Have you ever had a flashback before? Have I ever had a flashback? I suffer from bad. I'm suffering from from before. That's why it is a flashback. What did you think of Shades of Rhythm? Brilliant. Did it remind you of the old days? Yeah. yeah. I was proper reminiscing. Were you there in the old days? Yeah. I've been clubbing since 1993. That's not that old. Oh, brilliant. Thanks a lot. No problem. Hello, Mum. Yeah, she is. Have you ever had like a moment when you, you know, when your brain has flashed back to a certain time? Nah, I wouldn't say that. Your brain's in full working order, is there? Hi. And what happened? Well, I saw this huge bunch of trees suddenly start running towards me, and I completely lost it and ran down the road screaming. What did you used to do though before you did this? I don't know. I was into all sorts of things, man. Do you know what I mean? I was a street rogue. You have to come to the queue club. It's wicked. Ever.